Hello guys, welcome back. Thank you for joining me again. So we've come back a little bit earlier than expected. We've come back for Rangers and St. Johnson. Now I feel it's only appropriate that Rangers are chasing us, you know. They are currently four points behind us. And I think a win against them would really show our intent. So we're going to go for the Rangers and St. Johnson game. Now, even if we lose to Rangers today, it's not going to change anything within our league position. However, you know, Celtic then get the chance to pull even further away. So we're on the 21st of Jan. Naturally, it's a January transfer window and things have happened. So let's go through that first. So Jack Byrne has left us. Now, this is a player that I've been trying to get off the books for the last 12 months. Injury prone. Fantastic player, don't get me wrong. And stats-wise, he's decent, but loves an injury. It's just unfortunate that we've let him go when he's having his best season for us. A 7.52 rating he had for us. 14 appearances, 7 goals, 5 assists and 3 player of the match performances. But I thought the time was right to let him go. Aleen come in with an £8 million offer. You know... I can't refuse that. He cost us 230k to bring him in. He's been decent for us. He gets a 7 plus rating every single season. You know, all the way there. But he's had a fantastic season for us this season. But it was now time to cash in. So Jack Byrne has gone. And Matthias Sarkic has gone to Ibar in Spain. Now, he was a decent goalkeeper. He played a couple of times for his last season when Gory was out injured. He was on loan at Blackburn this season. But they've come in with an 800k offer. We got him on a free. And off he goes. I've still got Young Dal who's going to play as number two. And obviously, Gory is my number one all day long. But coming in then to strengthen out on that right-hand side is Yukonari Shugawara. So, 24-year-old Japanese international. 12 caps, two goals for them. Current ability is three star. Potential ability is three and a half star. He has played again for us already. And he has scored on his debut. So, that's a decent start. Now, I wanted people that can play the majority of that right-hand side. So, he can play as a right-back, a right-wing back. Or a right midfielder. So good enough for me. Comes in as my number two best player in that position. Obviously we've got Stevie Centamara as well. But he's going to have that little bit more depth. 24 year old. We've still got plenty in the tank. And we bought him for 1.8 million after Crystal Palace paid 1 million for him at the start of the season. So he only played two games in the championship for them. And he didn't exactly set the world alight. But 1.8 million. That's a snip considering what we just got for Burn. And then I've done it again. I've bought another Italian youngster, 19-year-old, valued at 2.6 million. Current ability is three star, potential ability four and a half star. Now he is a right back and he's basically going to challenge Clark for that position. We have spent big money on him now, five million pound again. We keep maxing out at those five million pound offers for the Italian. I would say Italian wonder kids for us, you know, they are going to be very good players. We bought him from Cagliari where he played 13 games ratings wise didn't exactly set the world alight again but he's got a lot about him he's quick he's got decent acceleration his tackling's 12 and he like for me he's only going to get better 19 year old a bit of a speed merchant somebody that i want who can run up and down on that right hand side decent dribbling decent crossing again will only get better so noza ferendi that's the man who's coming in to challenge mitch clark and logan out on that side so results-wise, then, we've had plenty of drama since that result at Aberdeen, obviously. And we crashed out of the Champions League, obviously, against Valencia. But we had a 1-1 draw with Queen's Park. Now, this is a game that we should have lost, if I'm completely honest. We had 16 shots, 7 on target. They had 9-5. and five. But the final 10 minutes, they absolutely blew us away. So Mitrovic with a goal on 42 minutes. Bowler had a goal disallowed on 84. Samuel with a goal on 87. And then he had a goal disallowed on 93rd minute. We were absolutely ruined. Every single highlight, the ball was ended in the net. For Queen's Park. So yeah, we got away well with a point there. Queen's Park though, the team to watch. We then had a 5-1 victory over Amal Nackies. 14 shots, 11 on target, 52% possession. You know, they managed to get a goal. But Brown with a goal on 20 for us. Divine on 30. Mitrovic with a goal in first half. Stopping time. Then he got another one on 60. And then completed his hat-trick on 71 minutes. You know, what more do you say about that? We're happy with the result. 5-1, smashed them. We then followed that up with a 2-1 victory over Livingston, a game that we dominated again. I'm disappointed we're not keeping the clean sheet as they took the lead early through Forrest in 11 minutes. Byrne then getting two goals on 63 and 66 before he leaves us. And then we got 10-man OP against Hib. So Byrne gets sent off for a straight red on 8 minutes. Then Mitrovic scores on 13. Lombardo on 38. Centamar on 37. And then the second half, Brown with a goal on 63. Young gets a goal back on 68 minutes. And then Bates scores a penalty on 86. And there you go. 5-1. 20 shots. 11 on target. 65% possession with 10 men against Hibs. Now, if that's not bragging rights, I don't know what is. 
And we then just played Ibs in the Scottish Cup. And in fairness, we struggled when we had 11 men. Sugawara on his debut, 36 minutes, gets us the goal, gets us the win. Now, Hibs didn't do anything. They managed one shot. They didn't even test Gory with it. We had 15 shots, 6 on target, 54% possession. It was a very physical game as well as we puck up 5 yellow cards. And that leaves us second in the league. We are seven points behind Celtic and four points ahead of Rangers. So we have got a little bit of a gap. We need a win today, really, against Rangers to just keep it going. Celtic yet to lose this season as well. 17 wins, three draws. Goal difference there. We're all now on against them. We just need to close that points gap. So Celtic have got Hibs today. That's the game to watch, really, as we take on Rangers. Livingston against Aberdeen and St. Johnson against Dunfermline. Team selection-wise, then we're going with Gory in goal, Clark, Lombardo, Suta and Ferrandi, with Diallo in the holding role, Divine, Shalabar and Sugawara, and then Brown and Mitrovic up front. So the social roundup then, Declan Ray says Sugawara starting is good. And Brian Walton says Mitrovic aside, I'm not sure we're good enough to beat them here again here. I think we are. Let's go. We've been on a good run lately, so go out there and impress us. That's what I'm telling the guys. As we make our way out onto Ibrox pitch, we're away from home. Can we cause an upset? Would it be an upset now? Would you consider winning at Rangers an upset anymore? You know, we are the league holders, so we'll see. We'll see. As there is a throw in then, Clark gives it away. Andrade to Roberts. It's a ball over which Lombardo should deal with. Goes long, poor pass. We don't pick it up in the midfield. The Shepelev is there and we dive in. Jasper, surely not. It's wide. Gory just stands and watches it. First opportunity in the first 10 minutes for Rangers. We had 49% possession. It's now up to 57. Boss on it. As they have a corner then, Roberts with the corner in. And they have scored. Jay Clark Salter with the goal there. It's not great, is it? Gory doesn't get anything on it. It's glanced across the goal as Clark with a long loop and throw again. Are we going to get there? Brown may do. King gets it clear. All right, Clark on it again. Diallo. Ball across. Clark keeps it in. He's into the box. Divine. He's been brought down. Referee. Referee. Penalty. 100% penalty there. He's looked and we've got it. Hughes stepping up there, Mitrovic got to be, Mitrovic from the penalty spot again, and he scores, clinical, 1-1 on 21 minutes, 14th goal of the season for Mitrovic, it'd be interesting to see how many of those are penalties, absolutely loves a pen out, it's a great penalty as well, straight in the top corner, one apiece, right let's keep it going, the gap with Rangers is still 4 points, Celtic could obviously win it, because they're 9 points clear now, Robertson with the ball in, deal with it, we do, we're not out there, Brown, we need to chase it out, come on, Brown has got no options, we've got a man free, up the other side of the pitch, Divine, oh, look at that, Megs him, he's past Mora like he's not even there, Divine, ball across, Mitrovic has hit the bar from point blank range, it should be 2-1, that's a huge miss, Mitrovic should do better there, Divine with the ball in, I've still got my hands on my head, and now they could break away, Jasper, Andrade, stop that ball, great tackle laugh from Lombardo, well Celtic a 2-1 up, it's now 3-1, it's game over there, Hibs are coming back from 3-1 down, and we should be 2-1 up, I'm happy with your performance, that's what I'm telling the guys, any changes to be made really, Sugar Warrior isn't having a great game, I've got St. Amar on the bench, he can come on, and I think we just run at that I got for now I reckon, both my attackers having a decent game, let's go. Got to watch out for the old yellow cards, but by that, we should be all right. Lombardo then to Clark. Shalabar. Ball over. Great touch from Brown. All right, Mitrovic. He tried to play the ball through the middle. Clark then Shalabar. Come on. Lombardo. There's a worry that he's going to lose it then. Divine into the box. Divine! Oh, he's hit the post. We've hit the woodwork twice. Sent a mark. Go on, Steve. You get the ball in and it's gone. And Ferrandi, we've hit the woodwork twice. No, it's going to be one of those games. Clark then with a long loop and throw. Keeper's coming for it. Mitrovic, get in. He scores the goal. Keeper comes for it and then backs off. 2 1 on 56 minutes. It's deserved. I will say that. You know, we've come close twice before as well. Mitrovic 
you hero. Two goals today. Can you get another one? 60 minutes gone then. And Mitrovic is now chasing the hat-trick. Let's keep it going. Is that a corner ball? It is. Divine then. Let's whip it in. Lombardo! He scored. <laughs> it's his third goal of the season. Pascal Lombardo. It's now 3-1. Get in. Surely we can't be chucking this away now. We've been incredible since we went the goal down. It's a great header as well. It's a highlight straight from kickoff though. As they have changed things up, a double substitution. Ball over. Western. Oh, great save from Gorey. Route one as well, that straight over the top was, and we don't deal with it. As there's now a corner ball, we've got to defend this as well. Then I'll look at making some changes. Andrade then with the ball in, get it clear for Andy does. And Brown loses out, but that's the highlight gone. And we get to 70 minutes. So for me then, I've got to make some changes. Divine is shattered, so he'll come off. Yeah, what's my change up there though, really? I'll get Mitch Clark up there. Lombardo's going out on that side. Pinto into the middle. We've still got one more change to make. I don't know whether to get Diallo off. He's having a good game. Shalabar isn't though, so Rina is going to go into the middle. And we'll play like that. Rangers haven't really done anything, if I'm completely honest. And were good value for the win so far. There's Mora then. Jasper. Oh, Gory again though. Big save. And he's keeping us in it at the minute. He's made two big saves in what the last five minutes. Get it clear. Oh dear. Alright, Fry. Ball in. Gotta be Gory's. Comes and claims it. Are we going to go along? Now it's the end of the highlight. The Celtic are still 3-1 against Hibs. They've changed it up now, Rangers. They're basically going with one attack and forward and two wide men to try and catch us out. Lowry, Weston. Oh, what a challenge that is from Pinto. We are hanging on a little bit now, I'm not going to lie. You need to get this highlight out of the way. Andrade, get it cleared. And we do. Brown is going for it as Hibs have scored on 86 minutes. Brown going by himself. He's done some decent yards anyway, regardless of what happens. And Brown loses out. And it's gone. Oh, there's another highlight. Rinna Motta whips it in. It's cleared away. Moira there. Come on. Lombardo strolls. It's a Pinto. That's my centre-back there. Get back into position. All right, Diallo then to Mitrovic. Rinna Motta to Brown. Brown could seal it. It's a decent chance. Great save. 3-1 though. We've still got that goal gap. Should things start to go wrong. Get there. And it's gone. Right. Uh, that should be it. That should be it. Clark with another long throw. He's a keeper coming for this one. He does. Svilar gets there. There's a minute 30 to go. We've got to be getting to that ball. Western. Gorey's been decent. Gorey. Challenge there again. It's all over the place. Wow, and they just lash at it. We hit it against one of our own defenders. A little bit of panic at the back. And there you go then. So a 3-1 victory. That is absolutely massive in the context of things. Mitrovic with two goals. And Lombardo wraps it up on 69 minutes. A big three points against Rangers. And just shows that we're a different class now. We're a completely different animal. I'm very happy with the result and the way you play. That's what I'm telling the guys. And Celtic win 3-2 against Hibs. So the gap is still seven points. We're both on plus 37 goal difference. But I'm happy with that performance. I'm re we done really well. Don't get me wrong. A little bit of pressure at the end. Made it be more nervy than what it should have been. But we get the victory nonetheless. So how the fans reacted then? Madison Key says, Fantastic result. Defended well, attacked well. Just a brilliant all-round performance. Agreed. And superior finishing provides cut and edge for Hearts then. So that's the headline. And Hearts make it six unbeaten. So we got St. Johnson next then. Let's go. Right, so here we go then. We're away from home today. Again, back-to-back -back away matches. Jeez. A Celtic take on Motherwell, obviously the team that will be chasing. And Queen's Park against Rangers. I reckon there's an upset on there. That's a big game. So team selection-wise then, we're going Gorey and Goal, Clark, Lombardo, Sutar and Logan. We're doing a motor in the Holden roll. Divine Shalabar and St. Amar with Shankland and Mitrovic up front. So how have the fans reacted then? Let's have a look at the social roundup. So Fraser Baxter says Sutar starting is good. And Julia Riley says, Alexandra Mitrovic, in form or not, not sure we can beat them again here. What are you talking about? We're not going to beat St. Johnson. We've been on a good run lately. Keep it going. 
Jeez, the fans aren't even confident that we're going to beat St. Johnson, so I don't understand how. Because we are banging form. We just need to better Celtic's result. Or Matt Celtic's result, really. Let's keep the chase going. Throw in then. Clark. Long ball in. Shanklin's there. He brings it down. Shanklin, what a finish. What a finish. Brings it down. Spins on the spot. And just lobs it over the keeper. As he goes to ground. We'll see it again. 14 minutes in. You know, Shanklin, look at it. Brings it down. Over the keeper. What a finish. Cheeky as you like that. And we'll take it. We close the gap. Obviously, Motherwell currently holding Celtic. Rangers are 1-0 up against Queen's Park. As Dorlen with a free kick from distance. Easy for Gorey. Half an hour gone. Their first real opportunity. Tips it over the bar. To keep it going. Ball in. Headed away. Sutar gets it away there. As Celtic still 0-0. That's what you want. Rangers have absolutely smashed Queen's Park. It's 3-0 there. Blown them away. As we've only managed two shots on target. Not ideal that. It's been quite a subdued first half. And a, a bit of brilliance from Shanklin, let's be honest. Gets us the lead at half time. Things are going well, but I know you can't with even better. And what are we saying here? You know, what do we do? What are the changes? Who's having a shock at? St. Amari's not having a great game. So Sugar Wire will come on there. That might be it for now, I reckon. We have got Brown. Do I put Brown? I'm going to put Brown on the other side. Brown's going out wide. This divine needs a rest. I haven't strengthened out there yet. That may be something I need to like push on with. But obviously I've got Martirana as well. When he comes back from injury. It's 4-0 now. Rangers against Queen's Park. And we're well still 0-0 with Celtic. We will take that. But 1-0 for us isn't a great lead. As we throw it in. Clark then. Logan. Ball across. Brown! Oh, Brownie scores! We played him out of position. And he gets the goal anyway. It's his 11th goal of the season. He finds himself in the right place at the right time. It's a tight finish. Don't get me wrong. Brown's being kept on there. Down at the far corner. But away he goes. Look at it. Keeper. No chance. 2-0. 15 minutes to go. Hamilton 2-1 against Livingston. They have a throw in Hoban then. We get it clear. Mitrovic though has got no pace. Tate on it. Rinamotta just rob him. Henry can we keep a clean sheet? Probably not. It's a big miss from Henry that. Huge miss. 10 minutes left. I'm going to make a change. My last change in fairness isn't it? I'm going to bring Fanady on. And there we go. Brown then with the corner. Lombardo oh, he's missed. I thought he was going to score back-to-back -back games there. Lombardo has really stepped up. We haven't seen too much of him over the last couple of seasons. As Brown then with the free kick and it's well wide. But a 2-0 I reckon this game's ours now. Celtic still 0-0 with Motherwell as well. Big result happening there. A draw would be huge for us if they get that. Right, we win 2-0. Well done lads, a great win. All about this Celtic game now. And Celtic draw 0-0 with Motherwell. So there you go then, the gap at the end of this episode is 5 points now. Not bad going at all really, if I'm completely honest. Other big result there is Rangers win 5-0 against Queen's Park. I genuinely expected Queen's Park to put up more of a fight there, but it's not to be. Hamilton 3-1 against Livingston, and Dunfermline win 1-0 against Dundee United. Dundee United going down already, 11 points behind St. Johnson. So how have the fans reacted then? Aidan Harper says, decent result, not quite as convinced by the performance as some of you seem to be though. And Jay Macon says, I know it's a geeky way to appreciate football, but we're rock solid at the back today. Forget the goals. Clean sheet, I'll take that. That's the main thing, isn't it? We haven't really been able to get any clean sheets, so that's good to get. So hard to go victory at McDermott Park then. That's the headline. Scottish Premiership, entertainment at Ibrox, obviously 5-0. And that's it. So where are you going to join me next then? Look at that form. Look at the state of that form. We are on fire. If we could have done Queen's Park as well. That would have been massive. So I think for us then, we are probably going to come back further on through. Because the Celtic game at the minute doesn't really matter there. I only wanted to just like pip ranges. But when we break up into obviously that championship group, that's basically where Celtic will matter. Um, so for me then, we'll come back for Hamilton and Queen's Park here. So that's where you'll join me next then. So thanks for watching and I'll catch you later. Ta-ra.